Welcome everybody. Sensei Reality TV News is reporting to you that yes, there's been a fire that's been set in the ballot box of the Portland, Oregon area on Monday morning. What a coincidence, right? And mind you, Portland, Oregon is a blue state. Democrat. So let's move on to the next day. Vancouver. The city, the county, the Washington State, nearby the Washington State area, it's also been a ballot box that was set on fire over there as well. And Washington State, Vancouver, that's blue as well. Now, with these ballot boxes being set on fire, um, I really find it real tacky because if they are blue states, you already know who's behind it all. Donald Trump. Um, so, um, it seems like um, with the strong following and the people that's backing and that's voting for Kamala Harris, um, it really seemed like it really seemed to be a threat towards the power and the, and the voting that she has and the support that she has behind her, you know, with Beyonce, Samuel Jackson, um, just to name a few. And um, also with Michelle Obama, Barack Obama. Um, a lot of powerful people that are supporting and that are standing behind Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, excuse me. But um, with these ballot boxes being set on fire, um, it was stated that it happened around 3.30 a.m. on Monday in the Portland, Oregon area. And um, I said it was an, an, an incendiary device, incendiary or incendiary device that was placed inside the box that secretly... Um, was personal extinguished that personnel extinguished the fire that's what the officials you know were saying that what happened how it happened but the federal officials also stated that investigating that the incident in the portland oregon area that a second fire nearby which i was just stating with the vancouver you know in the washington area it had um said with the help of the state and local law enforcement agencies um a spokesperson that said that that also happened there by that area as well. But it seems like that um, nearly that all the ballots that are protected by, the, you know, the fire suppressing inside the box, that that would it would that, those were the ones, excuse me, um, that was protected by the fire suppressing inside the box. Three were damaged. So three three boxes, ballot boxes were damaged. And um it was all included, like it was protected by the fire suppressant. So protected by the fire suppressant, nearly all the ballots were protected by the fire suppressant inside the box, but three were damaged. And the officials also um plan was to contact the three affected voters. That was unique identifiers on their ballot envelope so they can receive replacement ballots. So the voters who dropped their ballots off at the, uh, the ballot box between 3.30 p.m. Saturday and 3 p.m. Monday reached out also to the moto, to the moto, the moto nomo, the mot nomo, noma, it's a weird name, county election division, and, um, if they had concerns about that. But let me just talk and just speak my piece because I'm tired of reading that. But yeah, um, it's no surprise, no shock that something like this is happening in the blue state area where the Democratic are uh, mainly like, that's their spot, that they, um, their states, that they get like their votes. Two of the states that they get their votes, the Washington State area, like I said, is near, nearby the Vancouver, which is a blue state, Washington State. And um, also, like with the Portland, Oregon area, Oregon being a blue state as well. Um, it's like they know that uh, Donald Trump really don't stand a chance. Like, you know, when you get these people on social media that are Trump supporters, they're not really going to. I don't feel like they're not going to be um, the ones that are going to be mainly voting. Like the loudest ones, know them on social media, are the ones that really ain't going to. Ain't gonna vote. 
And even if they do, they're going to be outnumbered by the supporters of the Kamala Harris campaign and, and whoever that's all endorsing her. Because don't nobody want to see nobody getting an offer and that's going to, you know, not only say that they're going to make things like pretty much worse. Pretty much. It's really not serving no purpose of trying to help, you know, citizens that's in, you know, the lower class or whatever they may be. Donald Trump doesn't really cater to those people. And so you got to think about it. So when I hear people that are nine to five workers and are Donald Trump supporters, you got to ask yourself, do you really think he really care about you? You're not even in his tax bracket. So what purpose will he serve you? You got to ask yourself that for one. Kamala Harris is going to serve the purpose of all of our people in lower class, middle class. She's going to serve the purpose of all the nine to five uh, workers and people that are, are working every single day. The support and provide for their families. She's going to support those people and make sure that they, you know, get into the, in the, into the straight path of being, you know, being able to be financially stable enough and keep that afloat because a lot of people are losing jobs. So she's going to help those individuals be able to keep and for people that don't have jobs to be able to get jobs so they can provide for their families. That's what she's going to support. That's what she's going to bring. But Donald Trump is not going to cater to those people that are nine to five workers. And he's not going to cater to those people that are not in his tax bracket. So I don't really understand why people are, are, are setting fires for a person that don't even, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that don't even care or give a damn about them. Now, I don't know if you support him because, I mean, it's a white thing. I don't know. But you got to think about what's, what's realistic, what makes sense. Don't you care about being able to support and help your families? If you really care about your family, being able to support and provide for your family, then Donald Trump ain't the person that I feel that is going to cater to you in that department. He's not said not one time that he's going to help or, or support middle class or lower class people that, that that's... um. That's maybe struggling or <clears throat> not knowing how to make ends meet or when they're gonna how they gonna make ends meet because they don't have a job. He's never gonna he's not gonna support and cater to those people. Kamala is. Kamala Harris is. So I mean she's reaching out to different to different people and, and getting the message across to try to get people to to understand that, you know, the importance of being able to be there for the people that Nobody's paying attention to, to, to those who don't have any type of financial uh, backings because they, you, you know, lost a job or got fired or or they got laid off or by, however which way, you know, it may come. But um, but these ballot boxes being on fire, I feel honestly that, you know, they are really done by, by people that are, that are Trump supporters that don't want to see um, Kamala Harris get the votes in those blue states. Now, this is real like this is real tacky because I mean I haven't never seen nothing like, done like this but when you uh, have a black woman which they like to say that that she is uh, whatever excuse they try to make that she never said that she was black that woman knows she's black and they, they're going to find a run with anything to try to you know, to switch the narrative or try to make it seem like as if give a reason or make and create a reason for you not to vote for her but you want to choose to vote for somebody who really don't serve you any purpose you or your family because you're not in his tax bracket he's only care about the rich people the rich getting rich and the poor getting poor so for those people who supporting Donald Trump if you want to if you want to you know if you don't really care about not having money in your pocket you know then that may be the guy you may need to support but for the people who want to be stable and being financially stable in order to, you know, keep jobs and other support, to try to create, having, um, putting more jobs out there for people to be able to go out to, you know, fill out applications to get job, jobs, then Kamala Harris, I feel, is the right person for that because she's going to open that department up to where people can be able to, you know, have opportunities, job opportunities, you know, to be able to have out there for those who are in financial need. So um like I said, this situation right here 
it seems like something that I feel honestly that is is, is like is try to sabotage in some sort of type of way because they don't want they don't want her to be able to shine. They don't want her to be able to shine. So when you got somebody like that, you're gonna have a couple of people that are Republicans in those blue states that's gonna try to sabotage, do anything they can to try to destroy the votes of the voters that who are voting for Kamala Harris to be the next um, president of the United States in, in the election. So, um, man, this is something that it doesn't really surprise me, but at the same time, something I've never seen before, but when desperate times call for desperate measures, I mean, you see exactly what, what, it, can, what it can lead to. So, um, anybody out there that's, you know, um, saying that they not going to vote, I feel like, honestly, um, uh, you should vote. I mean, I was one of those people that, you know, saying that, you know, when you vote, vote locally, that's when it counts and that's when it matters. And that's true. But if you want to be able to, you know, have a world expansion of being able to um, have a president that's going to look out for, you know, for job opportunities to be spread, you know, for people that, um, that want to take care of their families, take care of themselves and their kids or whatsoever to be able to support and have a have a, a house, a roof over their head to be able to support their families. And I feel like Kamala Harris is the right person that that's going to cater to you, the lower class, middle class. You're going to be able to uh, cater to you and those families. And um, that's going to be able to, you know, make it take less pressure off of you as a person, as a, as a father or a mother. And... Ain't no other way for you to re really like, you know, be able to, you know, see clear. Cause that's, that's, that's the most clear as you, you can get when it comes to who you, who you should vote for. But like I said, if it's all about you trying to be, you know, MAGA and being a Trump supporter, then that's not really going, it's not really going to help you or, or serve any purpose for you. Because like I said, if you're lower class and middle class, it's definitely not going to be able to you know, support anything that you're trying to, you know, uh, as far as your living condition go, it's not going to support that by you voting for somebody like him. You know, this person don't care or give a damn about nothing. But these voter ballots being on fire, it has a lot to do with him. And I feel like it's some of his, it's his supporters who are doing it. And that's really going to make people just want to vote for Kamala even more and go back and re-vote all over again. That's just how the way I feel about it. But it's really no coincidence. They try to sabotage, but it's not going to get them nowhere, man. Sensei Reality TV, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll let y'all later. One love. Peace.